Now, earlier today, I went to Spokane County Courthouse to look up his criminal history, and it shows he does have uh, multiple domestic violence cases against him, all leading up to prior to when the divorce papers were filed with his wife. Take a look. Justin Robertson's wife served him with divorce papers on March 14th. In those documents, a protection order was filed at the same time, where she requested he have no contact with her or their five-year-old son, Ethan. Another protection order was filed in December last year. In these documents, she writes, Robertson put a tracking device in her car and would follow her and their son on multiple occasions. She says in November, she was in the car with Robertson when he drove into oncoming traffic three times and asking her if she was ready. There's also mention of Robertson being suicidal since that incident. His wife said at one point he was no longer going to behavioral health appointments. Just days before the divorce papers were filed, she says he threatened to harm himself and her with a knife if she didn't obey his commands. He screamed and slammed their patio door, even saying he should have ran them into traffic when he attempted to do so back in November. Now, as we mentioned earlier, the good news here is the five-year-old son, Ethan, is safe and he has not been harmed. We're still waiting for any developments from the residence where Robertson is refusing to come outside. I uh, hope to post you up, keep you posted on updates with that from St. John. I'll send it back to you guys.